All right, Sammy, you don't want to go in there. I tried telling you, Sammy. Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today in this video, we're going to be combining my two chicken flocks. It might get dicey. These two chicken flocks have been getting to know each other through the fence for a few weeks now. So the replacements have been sleeping in squats run and then during the day I let them out into the barn pen. They've been getting to know the barn flock through the fence line and I'll throw treats on both sides of the fence right there so they can act like they're actually eating together but not being able to fight yet. I have been worried about putting these two flocks together because whenever one does hop the fence and get with the other flock, they're not very nice to them. Oh girls, you're out of water. Well, it's almost time to turn over the barn, huh pop? I did run out of water so I had a bucket of a bunch of water up here yesterday but then we brought my other rain harvest tank up from the house so we got 275 gallons up here so i'm gonna need to put away all these buckets but these ladies here are 15 weeks old now there's also a couple roosters this one red one the easter egger he's a rooster and then we have the tailless rooster that's sammy there i used to call him martin but i'm starting to call him sammy now someone did say that he might be a salmon favora or however you say that so i'm thinking sammy's working a little bit better for him and then the little one right in there is my little Roo. I keep calling him Little Roo, but he's my other rooster. He's a show rooster. I don't know if he's going to do too much, but look good. The two little silver spangled hamburgs keep hopping up on top of the cage, and they get out in free range, same as Little Roo. And my mom keeps referring to them as Dalmatians. So if you have any good Dalmatian names, let me know in the comments down below. So I want to do a test with these chickens and put them together while I'm still out here in the open. Some people will put them together at night whenever they're not as active. They think they can just slide in chickens and the other chickens won't notice but I don't think that's gonna work putting 21 new chickens in with 18 existing chickens so my plan has been to get them to know each other through the fence and they've been doing that for a few weeks now and now I want to put them together out in the open pasture and see if they can spread out with a little bit more space and not beat each other up but I want them to get to know each other so they can kind of get their pecking order started and it won't be so bad whenever I put them all together into the barn and sleep at night. I also picked up some more feed and some bedding. I'm on my last bale of hay, so I don't want to waste it on pig bedding. I want to use that for the goats and let them eat that hay. It's good alfalfa hay. Hey, girl. So I picked up some sawdust from the mill where I get my feed, and that's going to get all in here for the pig bedding. I'm not a Charlotte girl. Yeah, you got a dirty house, don't you? Because somebody left the water on last night. Yes, I did, huh, Charlotte? Yeah, but you didn't mind. You were rolling all through it. Oh, Wilbur, you guys need a clean out? So I do have water in this tank. We are pretty full here. And I have more water out back. I'm going to give these chickens some treats so they're well fed and not hungry whenever I put them all together. Come on, ladies. Move it, move it. Hey, pup. Move it, ladies. Get you some treats out here. I know replacements, you all want some too. There you go. Eat up. Eat your fill. Look at these birds. Look at all the colors in the original flock. And then look at the new flock, mainly black and white. We have some colorful ones in there too, but a lot of black and white in the new flock. Oh, ladies, you guys got to lay some eggs and mix your colors. So next year we have some different colors. Look at this big one in the middle. She is so much bigger than the rest of them. She has some iridescent green going on on her tail right there. I'm hoping that's still a girl and not a big old rooster, but that thing is big. I'm calling her Bertha for now, unless it turns out to be a roo. Hey, Pants. How you doing, girl? So the other three that did get names are my raptors. The three raptors got named, and they're blue and illusion, so I wanted to do something with and illusion. And with the A sound, I got Anna. And then da would be Dolly, and then Lusion would be Lucy. So we got and Illusions or Anna, Dolly, and Lucy. And big old Bertha walking through. And I'm not sure if Bertha is one of the Wyandots, and maybe this one too. But I should have two of the Colombian Wyandots in here mixed with the, all the black and white light Brahmas. And then we got Pants, the blue coachin that looks like she's wearing a full pants suit. And my rooster. He needs his tail, so that's another reason I want to start getting them out in the open because they're sleeping in those quarters and they smash all together inside Squat's Run. And if I can get them into the barn, they'll have a lot more room for their feathers to just stay open all night as well as the day and they'll grow in a lot better. And I did see my Easter egg rooster and Sammy the Salmon Falvera rooster starting to fight a little bit, squaring up. 
They haven't really fought much, but they did square up a few times. So I want to get them a little bit more space and a few more females to look at. Coming in, ladies. Coming in. I got your water here. Oh. Let me get that empty water, ladies. You're all hiding in the shade. Hey, pants, you thirsty? I got you on a little roux. Yeah, I'm sure you all were thirsty, huh? There you go, get in there. Hey Rita, you need a freshen up girl? And cool that down for you? There's another thing I want to do today in this video and that is to move the ducklings into the field pond. So we're going to be opening up a bird box out there and herding the ducklings into the new field pond. It's kind of new because my dad just curved up the edges so the ducks have an easier entrance and exit out of there. So it'll be a lot nicer for the ducks. So we'll get over to the field pond and show you that but it's going to be a lot nicer for the ducks now. Ooh ladies, you were thirsty weren't you? But I want to keep an eye on these birds before we put them together. So before we get into that, I got to do the barn turnover and check on the turkey out in the pasture. Hey Spot, what are you doing in here? You guys still the same size? Still both showing girl? Yeah, I don't see any male traits yet. You got a big gobble on you and your snood's getting a little bigger. But you're about the same size as your sister still. But Leo's definitely bigger and I've heard some gobbles out of you, huh buddy? But I've tried and I, I really can't make any noises to get him to gobble, but the chickens have and whenever they do an egg song, sometimes he gobbles along with them. I actually forgot from last year, once I heard the first gobble from these turkey, I forgot how much I liked that gobble sound being around the property, so it's going to be really nice to have these turkey all winter long. At least I think it will be, but at least they'll be making some nice farm sounds all winter long and we'll have life all over the property even in the winter. Looks like these chickens singing their egg songs. Uh oh. I guess I gotta bring the feed in before I do the turnover. Oh, Pop, grab a bag. We got something new this time. And I want to mix it into pretty much everybody's feed. You two want to try some? You can have some. Try them out. Something new. You dirty big pigs. Yeah, I might have to hose you down, little Charlotte and Wilbur. You like them? Hey, bud. 
And I also mixed in a little bit for the turkey because we have some breeding turkey in the barn here before we go out to see the meat turkey in the chicken tractor. Hey buddy, how you guys doing? Yeah, you're not too, oh, you almost gobbled. Well, you guys have plenty of food in here, but I'll give you some treats in there with it. Hi huh, guys, see they're all getting pretty big here, but these two, quiet down Dizzy. But yeah, we definitely have one, she definitely looks like a girl, but this one is showing a little bit different signs. A little bit bigger head, bigger snood, maybe thicker legs. So I'm not sure if we end up with two males and one female, one's definitely going to have to go to freezer camp though. Pigs! What'd you do that for? Why'd you dump your water bowl out? All right, I'm coming in then, Charlotte. Let me in, girl. Come on, let me in. Let me in, Charlotte. And I'll make, hey, hey. Easy now, girl. No, 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 no. Don't drink out of the bucket. Let me pour the bucket out. No, 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 no. You too. There you go. Poppy, back up, bud. Don't sniff pig butt. All right, we're out here at the end of the pasture now with the meat turkey in the turkey tractor. I found out that there's a couple differences to moving a turkey tractor as there is to moving a chicken tractor. And one thing is, I feed them before I move them. Get back in there. Stay in there. Stay in there, meatballs. Yeah. You nice turkey. And they don't bite my ankles. That's another thing. They bite my knee a little bit, buddy. Back up. We're gonna get you some food. You're almost as big as Peepers and Piper. Yes, you are. Huh. All right, bear with me. One-handed here. You guys are gonna get a sunflower treat. All right, turkey, you're all filled up. You're so much nicer than the chickens. We'll get your water filled up after we move you we don't need the extra weight i left a long strip of grass whenever i mowed so they still had some nice long grass to move on until the other grass grows back so it's actually hard to close the door get in there i gotta move this while they're eating So these turkey are getting big fast. They've caught up to Peepers and Piper already. I think Leo's still a little bit bigger than these guys. I just filled up two bowls with fresh water. I didn't use the bucket because they keep knocking the bucket over and that thing needs cleaned out. So I just gave them two fresh bowls there. And I do need, as you can see here, a new feeder. This feeder is just drain pipe, so it's a lot thinner than PVC pipe or Schedule 40. So I think I need to replace this out with something a lot stronger because these bigger turkeys stand on it and then it doesn't swing on the chain. And then it gets, it falls back whenever I'm pulling the, tr uh, the tractor and they get stuck in behind it. So I need that to swing freely so they can follow it along as I'm pulling the chicken tractor. So it needs to be a lot sturdier to hold the weight of these bigger turkey than the chickens were. Oh guys, yeah, the chickens broke it. You guys just can't really handle it. You're so much nicer than chickens. Hi, hi buddy. Yeah, you're just a big meatball, aren't ya? You ready, pup? Yeah, you are. Always ready to work. We're heading back in. So the chicken tractor's been working out really good for the turkey, but I really want to get them out of that box during the day so they can spread their wings and flap out a little bit more on the open pasture. But I just don't have a fence to keep them in. If I let them out, they might wander or a neighborhood dog might come through and massacre all of them. So I don't want to risk that, but I do want to get them outside. So hopefully I can try and get a fence up here in the near future. I'll probably be after I get this fence up. Sorry, Mumbles. Sorry, I'm not letting you out today. No, you gotta stay inside. I need the open pasture for the chickens. Oh, sorry, ducks. Hey, puppy.
And now for the ducklings. You guys still have food there? And I gave them one of the totes here I made for the duck waters because they were just burning through the bowls too quickly. So this tote holds uh, water a lot longer. Hey, Pop. It's okay, ducks. It's just puppy. Come here, bud. Come here. Come to my side. Yeah, stop scaring them, Pop. But these ducks are getting big, and I move them three times a day to give them fresh grass and fresh water and fresh feed. But I think today I'm going to release them out into the field pond. Alright, they're able to get out. I don't know if I can spook them out or not. Go ahead, ducks. Be free. Be free, ducks. I don't want to scare my ducks. Go ahead, guys. Puppy, you want to scare them? Yeah, you do. Well, they don't want to run out into the open. I don't blame them. They want to stay safe. I didn't give them their fresh grass move. I just lifted it up and propped it up on the five gallon bucket. So they're looking for fresh water and fresh grass right now because they usually get it during this move. So hopefully they'll just walk right out. Come on ducks, move it on out. Go around. Good ducks. Just duck. Just duck and go under ducks. All you gotta do is duck. All you gotta do is duck ducks. Go. Duck, duck, go. Guess we need a little bit of motivation ducks, huh? What about a snake in the grass? Will that do it? Come on, all of ya. You guys gotta stay. Echo, Blythe. Blythe. Oh, they're going. Go, ducks. Go, ducks. Yeah, wide open, ducks. Come here. Oh, you find in the pond. Come here. Give them space, bud. There, they did it. So much easier than last time. Stay here, pup. So my dad banked this out so it's a lot easier for the ducks to get in and out, so I'll be able to bring them down here a lot, a lot more often. Hi, ducks. That's a lot better, huh? All right, they should be good and entertained down here for a while in the pond, and I should be able to put the chickens together now. You go, ducks. Now I got the bird box set up in trap mode, got fresh water and feed in there and it's leaned up on a bucket so hopefully whenever they do find their way out of the pond they'll know to come right back to home base here. There is one more thing to do before we put the chickens together though. Goats! How you doing goats? Hi! We did a lot of work back here behind the barn but we'll get to that. We got to get the goats some food. Yeah, you ready for lunch Flip? You ready for lunch girl? Yeah, you are. Look at those big old horns on you, girl. I see you, big boy. You got your one little horn. I see it. Yeah, show it off. That's your good side. Huh, girl? You got both good sides. I'm coming, goats. Stay in there this time. Puppy, you coming in? Get in, pup. Flip. Don't do it. Okay. Good goats. Come on, goats. Come on, girl. Pup, you find a ball. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, I beat you that time. You coming, boy? Get in there, puppy. Your water good? Minerals good? Hay's good? I do like to grab a little bit of this and put it outside for them. I have this little split tree here that I like to put this in, and then they like to 
feet upwards. They, goats like to reach up and eat, so I want that up off the ground, and they always come in here and chew off of that tree. Come on, pup. Knee, bring. You can't leave your ball in there. Goats will eat it. Go, bring. A port, bring. Get your ball. Go. Ball, go, bring. It's in there. It's in there. Go. Come on. Can't leave stuff like that in the goat pen, puppy. Out. Good boy. I am making progress on the poultry palace or whatever we want to call it. Don't know what we picked yet. While my dad had the back out, I had him scratch me a good front here. I can build a nice level porch on. And then we filled in a little bit more soil on this side for the covered run area so it's a little bit more level. There's still a lot of work to do before I can move the turkey in though. But we also made a lot of progress back here. I'm trying to get two tanks set up for the rain harvest system. The one tank that I did have in here I had to take down to the house and get it all cleaned out because it was just full of leaves. I need to figure out a better screening system on this but once I get it all hooked together. But this was the tank that we had. I'm actually going to shut this off. I'm not sure if it's full downstairs or not. Uh, probably was. I just did the whole duck thing. That took a while. I'm not sure if I ever floated that tank or not. I really need a float valve. But my dad used to be a paid equipment operator and now he just does it for free around the house. But I got him to grade off the back of the barn here so it all slopes away. It used to crown up at the door so we could get the tractor and stuff inside, but we don't do that anymore. But I wanted it nice and level all the way across and then grade it away so the water goes around. Now we gotta get my log back in place. Don't destroy the new wall I just built. I don't know if that log weighs more than that water tank or not. You know you gotta roll it. Uh, 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 oh, nope. No, it was right the first time. All right. This corner up a little bit. All right, good. And then we took some of the stone that I brought down from my brother, some of the smaller stuff to pack in as a good solid base here to set the two tanks on. Because once we have these tanks filled up, it's well over 4,000 pounds. And once I get them hooked together, I don't want them shifting because I'll have a pipe in between so that they'll act as one tank. And if it shifts, then I'll lose all my water from both tanks. But you can see it's just setting crooked right now. And that's because we brought it up from the house full. Here, pup. I'm gonna try and get this tank on. Forks are rated for 4,000 pounds. The tank should be less than that. Set it down. Six inches. Eight. So 
We got 275 gallons of water getting taken up to the barn right now. We haven't had rain in a few days and I am out of water. So this is gonna be a big help. Mumbles, what are you doing Mumbles? Yeah, you've been hanging out by the gate a lot. I'm trying to hang out with Rita and the chickens. Why is your mouth open like that Mumbles? Okay. My dad's been working on the area up here trying to get it ready to set these tanks. I think he thinks that it's set pretty good, but we gotta double check it before we get the tanks in place. All right, we just checked this area with the level and it's a little bit off and it depends on how the pallet lands on the different rocks, whether it's gonna end up being level. So we're gonna set the water tank down off the forks right now and fill in all the interstitial spaces between the rocks with some of the clay that we have up here and a big pile. Since we have all this clay laying here, I think it'll help level off the area and hold all the rocks together with having clay in between instead of having it just a big pile of stone. It'd be nice to fill in all the gaps with some smaller stone, but we don't have smaller stone right now, but we do have a big pile of clay. So we're gonna get that all filled in and check it again with a level and then maybe we can set this tank into place. Oh huh, Pop, you hot bud, you need a bath today? Yeah, look at that tongue, buddy. You hot. In the shade. All right, we had to do it a few times, but I think we have the space level now. It's not the permanent fitting for this yet, but I need it in place so I can start using some water here at the barn. This is the secondary tank, and that one's the primary tank that the rain will flow into, and then I'll be hooking both of them together. But this one's going to be going over here, and then the other one's going to go right underneath the downspout. Not sure we have the right angle to get it in here right now though. Not with this dirt mound in the way. All right, that's probably as close as you're getting. Good, we're clear. All right, we are a little crooked, but like I said, once this empties out and I use all this water, we'll get this readjusted and both tanks hooked together. And with the backhoe and this big pile of soil here, we didn't have enough room to kind of come in straight. So once I get that empty, we'll get it straightened up, get the other tank set in place once it's cleaned, and then I'll need to get a couple piping pieces to hook them both together. And then I'll have 550 gallons of water storage up here, plus the 65 on the inside, if I can get a float valve hooked up to that. And then at that point, hopefully I won't be running dry on water whenever we have a few weeks without rain. This side also did have to get built up with a retainment wall out of the stone that we brought down from the old barn. And I like the look of the stone walls. So both of these together are really making this corner look nice to me, at least, at least to me. But all right, I think it is time we can put the chickens together. All right, ladies, I think it's time we can put you together and see if you guys can get along. What about you, Big Bertha? You're twice the size of any of my other chickens. Are you gonna be top chick? I don't want you hurting anybody. Hey, Sammy. Oh, crap, yep, definitely overflowed it. I know, ladies. So the ducks usually get the pasture in the afternoon, but since I'm putting the chickens together, I want them to have the most space that they can, so I'm gonna keep the chickens in the pasture and I gave the ducks a fresh pool of water in their own pen there. They still have grass and everything, so they'll be okay for one day. But I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get these chickens together. I think what I'm gonna do is put them all right back into Squat's Run. Then I can shut the gate to the pen, scoot the Squat's Run forward to the bubble pasture, and then open the bubble pasture into Squat's Run, open the door again, and they'll be able to have their own entrance into the pasture. That way if the older chickens want to run back into the barn they can and if the younger chickens want to run back to their coop they'll know exactly where it is let's do it hey ladies we're going for a run come on come on Roo. come on bertha come on everybody go home everybody go home bertha welcome home bertha <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
gonna have to take what I can get. Hop up. We'll let Sammy go come in later. I got a water out here over here. I got a couple of bowls of food, another water, and I'm about to put them all together. I'm just gonna throw out a bunch of scratch grain so they have something to be interested in and not fight over. No sign of the ducks right now, so I guess they're still enjoying the pond. So far, so good. Uh oh, a little peck from Dot. Just check yourselves, new chickens. Hey, little sussy. Plenty to go around. Everybody just be nice. Hey, little Dot. That's one of the survivors. Easy. Echo. Echo, you come here. You let them worry about the pecking order, not you, bud. All right, little dot, you think you're high up on the pecking order, don't you? But see, that's what I wanted. I wanted that bubble to still be there. I didn't want to try and let them out of this gate and then have to try and run back in for safety. Whenever they all get scared, I wanted them to have a normal run back into the tunnel like they always did right here in the pen. So I think that's gonna be nice and safe for them to run back to. Whenever Dot, yeah, or one of the other ones try to try to uh, stay high on the pecking order. They keep they keep coming out. They're gonna be curious. Try and get the scratch grains. My right, ladies, I'm gonna keep an eye on them. I gotta unload the truck with all that sawdust in it and maybe clean out the pig pen too. Hump up. Uh oh, we got Dot walking right inside the pen. What are you doing, Dot? Uh oh. We just had Mini Dot and Dizzy, I think. It's either Dizzy or one of the Bonnies. Oh, yeah, see? Hey, get out of there, Dot. You're spooking Sammy. You don't need to pick on Sammy. Oh, and the rooster got Dizzy. Hey, Dizzy, get out of their pen. You don't need to be in their pen. All right, I gotta get them out because I don't want them picking on each other inside a small box. Echo, you can't stand there. Back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up. Come here. Zit. Zit. Blythe. 
I don't know why Rosie walked in here. Come here, Rosie. Don't run to the back like every you're one of them. You're not one of them, Rosie. Now I gotta get every you're gonna be the last one. Yeah, you're gonna be the last one to go out, Rosie. Let them be there. That's be Echo. Come here. Oh, I just made just made a mess of this. I wanted that to be their safe place, but then the survivors just ruined it all. Alright, everybody settle down. Back up, Pop. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. You stay here because you you Zeke. You keep scaring the new ones, Pop. Now they're stuck in here, and we gotta get them back out there. Oh, we got a little Hamburg. Okay, everybody back out. Everybody back out. Back outside. Hey, be nice, Dizzy. Come on, go back out, go back out. Outside. See, they don't know how to get back in. Hey, Dot, don't corner them. I knew this was gonna get dicey. All right, Big Bertha. Big Bertha, you gotta figure out your way out or Dot's not gonna like it. No, that's not the way out, girl. It's the way I'm showing you to go. Yeah, it's almost like I wasn't lying to you. Hey. Oh, we got a bunch of them stuck in between the fence. All right, everybody, you gotta get out. This is not the spot for you. Come on, turn around. Turn around, I know you gotta run through everybody else to get back to your spot, but you gotta do it. You gotta do it. All right, Sammy, you don't want to go in there. I tried telling you, Sammy. Now you're stuck all the way deep inside here again. I, I got to get these ones over. All right, let me try and get the majority where I need them to go, and then I'll save Sammy. Come on, come on, it's out there. I know it doesn't seem like it's out there because it's new, but come on. There you go. Got the majority back over there. Still got two. Sammy. Sammy and one of the light Brahmas. Come on, bud. Come on. You do gotta run. Make a run for it. Go. Go. Make a run for it. Run, Sammy. Run. Come on, girl. You gotta go, too. There you go. There's home. Now, Dizzy, don't you freaking... Oh, Dizzy. Dizzy. No. You stay out of there, Dizzy. What's your problem, girl? Why are you going right into, into their pen? You don't live there anymore, Dizzy. Let's give him some space. Oh, geez, I just, I can't have the old ones breaking the line of defense. Yeah, hey, Dot. It'd be fine if they just, the new ones don't get behind them, but whenever they lose their safe space and one of the old ones go inside Squat's Run, oh, it's a Well, this is why I've been putting this off and uh, I was just worried about the chickens fighting. All right, I think everybody settled down. I'm gonna get this unloaded. So I actually got all of these for free because they were broken bags and they're the last that was on the truck. They wanted to clean it out. This will be perfect for my pig bedding. Uh oh, looks like the ducks are starting to come out. We're not. Dizzy! What are you doing in there? Why are you being an instigator, Dizzy? Oh, you little. You're being mean. Dizzy's being mean. Hey, pigs. You are all a mess in here, pigs. You ready to get all cleaned up? Hey, pigs. Ready to get cleaned up? Huh? Coming in, pigs.
Back it up, piggy. You go back to eating your wood chips. How are the ladies getting along over here, pup? You got Rita right in the mix. You go, Rita. You're one of the chickens. Oh, and we got the ducks on the side of the pond doing their preening. They might be done soon. I think they're doing pretty good. They're able to go back into their pen, which I think is keeping a lot of them happy. Not Dizzy. You're the instigator, you bad girl. The rest of the ladies are just chilling out in the shade right now. I was hoping that it would be a hot point of the day when I put them together. That way they wouldn't be too energetic and want to be running around outside the whole time. If it was a cooler day, then they would all have more energy to be out in the sun. But since it's a hot day, a lot of the older chickens are just coming back into the barn here to rest. And the newer chickens are out into the pasture exploring the new ground. You exploring the new wood chips, pigs? Yeah, I figured you're going to eat some of it. Get it spread out for me. I'm hoping that that pile of wood chips keeps the pigs a little distracted while I come in with the wheelbarrow and scoop out all the dirty hay. Pigs, you're all cleaned out and happy. Go ahead and sniff around your new bedding. Ladies, you all being good out here. So the girls out here are doing pretty well. I'm not having any big fights. Hey Rita, you keeping everybody in check? And we have all the replacements out here in the pasture getting to explore a little bit. We better go check on the ducks in the field pond. Well, no one came home yet. What are you doing, ducks? What are you doing over there? You all on an island? Huh, you find... You went out of the pond on the wrong side, did ya? It doesn't look familiar over there. It's probably a whole different world on the other side of that mountain. Puppy, go over there and spook him back this way. That's a good pup. Go ahead. But it's... Go into the water, ducks. Into the water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where are you going, ducks? Boys! You gotta let them around you, bud. Oi, come here. Good. Ducks, are you done in the pond? You wanna go back home? Alright, let's go, ducks. Hey. You can't walk that fast. Slow down. Ducks don't have as long as leg as you. This way, pup, this way. We gotta get them to turn, go home. No, Docs, why are you running faster? I'm trying to get you to turn. There you go, Blythe. 
You know, you recognize that box, Docs. Get back in the box, Docs. Go ahead. Oh, come on, Docs. All you have to do is dock. Docs, just dock to go in. If you just dock, you'll be right in. No, that'll get lower that way. That's not going to work, Docs. Come on, Pop, run. Get to this side. Go back, Docs. Come on, I thought this would be easier. You know where your box is. Just go back into your box, Docs. Turn back around, Docs. You missed it again. Go in this way. It's the tall side. It's perfect. Just go into your water and your food. Into your water and your food. No, that's not it. Don't go that way, Docs. You tried that already. I did not think it'd be this hard to get Docs to walk back into their box. Look at the purple on the wings of the Cayugas. I didn't see that. Without getting them into the sunlight, you don't really see it shining off of them, but that is a beautiful purple. All right, Docs, we can do this. We can do this, Docs. Into the pen. Echo, come. Come here. Zit. Life. Life. All right, Docs. Turn around. Turn around. Life. Yo, duck, 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 goose. Duck, duck, get in there. Yeah, Echo's there. You got a duck to get in. Come on, ducks. It's wide open. Come on, ducks, get in. Get in, ducks. Come on, just go in. Come here. Me. Uh, Poppy, you left the gate open. Let's try this again, ducks. Straight in. Just straight into where your food and your water is. I know you're probably getting so tired. Get in there. Just go in where you came from. Yes, go. Good job. Good job, Apple Yard. Now everybody, follow Apple Yard. Follow Apple Yard. Yeah, yes. Good job, Golden Layer. White Layer. Apple Yard. Come on. Everybody. There we go. Hold your ground, puppy. Hold your ground. Yes. There we go. Oh. Oh, we did it. Everybody is safely in the box. Thanks, puppy. You really helped there at the end. No one's got your foot stuck, right? Okay, everybody's good? Enjoy some food, guys. Enjoy some food. You had a big day. Everybody being nice out here? So we got all the barn girls inside the barn taking some shade and all the replacements here inside their run getting some shade here in the afternoon. We'll see how they do when they start coming out a little bit more once it starts cooling off out here. Rosie, you're real interested in them, huh? Or you just want some fresh grass? All right, well, I think this worked out as a little practice run, getting them together, getting their pecking orders kind of in place whenever they do end up getting put together inside the barn at night. I want to get a few more roosting bars set up inside the barn before I put them together at night, though. I wanted them to have some more open space to first meet so they could run away from each other if they wanted to. We still have a lot more projects going on right now with the rain harvest system getting put in place, trying to double my storage capacity. I'm also building the turkey hut and trying to get a bunch more fencing in place to get these pastures open for the birds. So if you want to keep following along with everything here at Whit Acres Homestead, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave. And you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. Rosie, what are you still doing in there? You hanging out with the wrong flock, girl.